Hey, I like this. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi has a new archive of the city's history going back to the 1800s. Much of it thanks to an elaborate collection by the late Caller Times columnist Murphy Givens. It will soon be on display at the Bell Library there. Brandon Schaff has that story. He um, wrote about the history of Corpus and how we became what we are. For more than 40 years, Murphy Givens compiled a complete history of Corpus Christi, not for a textbook, but for his weekly column for the Caller Times. Every Thursday, something new would come out and you would learn about the city and learn why we are built this way. When Givens moved here in 1981, he instantly began a collection of Caller Times articles and photographs. By the time he passed away in 2020, he had an entire file cabinet filled with content enough to fill 100 boxes for an archive at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Murphy had his own research sources, so he chronicled the city of Corpus and he kept detailed notes. And this archive going back to the 1800s and up to as recently as 2018 with pictures in the archive and even the physical newspapers like this one from 1970, which covered the devastating hurricane coverage of Hurricane Celia. You get to see all those old photographs, like those which you weren't even born, and they are really very cool, and that's really good because you can know how was it in the past and how is it currently. Students like Balan are helping turn the archive digital. Soon the entire collection will be available to anyone who wants to see it on the Mary and Jeff Bell Library website. As for the physical collection, it's open to the public and will be utilized by students, historians, and anyone else who's just curious about Corpus Christi's past. And it kind of makes people see that we're not some sort of backwoods city, that we actually have industry and growth. The Island University is still in the process of organizing the archive and made it through about 70 of the 100 boxes so far. It will soon have two centuries worth of history ready to be accessed online and in person. Brandon Schaff, 3 News.